My name is uh, Michael Dalsing. Uh, I'm Director of Vascular Surgery at uh, IU Health, uh, and I'm a vascular surgeon. The types of uh, vascular surgery that people uh, might need, uh, especially as they get older, because this is often an older patient disease, uh, is a carotid endodorectomy or stent. That's basically a, a patient undergoes a, a stroke or symptoms of a stroke. The patient might also have an abdominal aortic aneurysm. That's where the blood vessel is too big in the abdomen. The wrist is rupture. There are devices now available where you can actually put the endograft in to repair the renals and just below the what's called your mesenteric artery, which is higher up in the aorta. So you can treat more patients with aneurysmal disease with a less invasive procedure. One other example might be the patient who has problems walking or has problems healing a foot lesion. And we can either uh, place a needle in the artery and actually go down into the leg and put little balloons up to increase the blood supply to the leg. Or sometimes if the, the lesions are too long or too complex, you actually have to do a bypass where we replace the, their artery with their own veins or sometimes with a synthetic material. I think what we're getting into next is uh, hopefully uh, the ability to regulate uh, recurrence of disease by drugs. Uh, that would be one of the best things. If we don't have to intervene, that's fine with us. Uh, or if we have to intervene, at least preventing it from happening again. So I think those are the two biggest areas where we're trying to impact what we have to do for patients. Because certainly people live longer now. We want them to be healthy that time. Uh, and, and we don't want to have to do more. We'd rather do it one time and hopefully have it last forever. We're involved in some of the uh, um, innovative procedures uh, that are going on in, in, the, uh, in the country. Some of it's uh, locally driven. I have a partner who actually is uh, involved in what's called progenitor cell seeding. In other words, he takes cells out of either your body or uh, some other place and they can, we can actually instill them back inside and sometimes prevent a, a, a loss of a leg that otherwise couldn't be helped. So, so the, and that's been something he's been interested in for 10, 15 years. The, uh, the, vascular, the patient with vascular disease uh, is, sometimes gets refer, referred early by, the, uh, by his primary doctor, and we're, we're given the privilege of following them for long periods of time. Uh, and in fact, most of my patients, whether I, whether I do something in terms of an intervention or not, I follow them for life. And so that, that's, that is one of the positive parts of being a vascular surgeon. You develop a relationship with people. Uh, you, know, you know who they are and, and what's been done, and they'll often call us for other problems just because we've known them forever.